Today, we want to tackle a very difficult subject on this episode of Rocket Kids. Bullying. We've all heard about it. We may have been a victim of bullying or seen it in action. So, we want to take a few minutes and talk about it and help you know when it may be happening. I'm Elvis, this is Rocket Kids, and let's get this started. First, I think we need to define what bullying is. So, let's begin by taking a look at conflict versus bullying. Conflict is a disagreement or argument where both sides see something or a solution differently. It can express their views and opinions with one another in a constructive way. On the other hand, bullying is a negative behavior directed by someone trying to have power and control over someone else. These are not the same thing. Conflict is part of everyday life. It's about how we interact with one another. Minor conflicts do not make others feel unsafe or threatened. Bullying is behavior with the intent to hurt, harm, or humiliate. And the person being bullied is not able to make it stop. We see the difference in conflict versus bullying? Good. This is a great start. Now, I want to give you four ways that people may be bullied. But before I can do so, I want to say that anyone can be bullied, and anyone can do the bullying. So, here are four ways people are bullied. One, it can be physical. This one is easy to recognize. This is where someone pushes, shoves, bites, hits, or kicks someone. They intend to hurt the other person's body. It can also include taking or damaging someone else's things. It can be verbal. This one is really common because it is quick, easy, and can go unnoticed by others. This can be teasing, name calling, threats, mean jokes, rumors, gossip, or saying things about someone else that is not true. It can be emotional. This type of bullying isn't always obvious, but it can hurt a lot. It hurts people on the inside and makes them feel bad about themselves. And finally, cyberbullying. This is when someone uses current technology, such as cell phones and computers, to bully others. It could be things like sending mean text messages, posting videos, stories, or photos meant to hurt and make fun of others. It can also be spreading rumors online. Those are four common ways people may be bullied. I think it's important to remember how we want to be treated and treat others that same way. Did you know that one in five students say they have been bullied? Think about how they may feel in this situation. They may be scared to go to school. They miss out on opportunities to learn. Students who are bullied may have lower self-esteem and less confidence in themselves. They are not allowed to reach their full potential and many times they don't know what to do or how to get help. Look, I know this is not a happy subject to talk about, but it's important. Speak with your parents and teachers about bullying, how you can recognize it, and how you can help. There are many great resources, and one we like a lot is the website Paster Kids Against Bullying. They even have a bullying quiz to help identify bullying and what can be done about it. So go check that out. I hope this episode has been helpful and we can learn that kindness matters. Because being kind is a lot easier than being mean. So let's just be kind. How does that sound to you? Sounds pretty good to me. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. You can also let us know your thoughts by commenting on this video. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Elvis, this is Rocket Kids, and don't forget to always be your best self.